poetry as a, a starting point for anything creative results in pure wildness. My goal with this series is always to be using the life and work of Emily Dickinson as a kind of funhouse mirror for what we are going through as people today. A quiet night in, baby. Novels and chill. After season one, Emily can call herself a writer. You really are a poet. With season two, the changing pace of media and technology that sort of led to this explosion of celebrity culture is what I was really excited to dig into. It is a crazy time to be alive. Why do things have to change? This season really revolves around Emily's struggle with whether or not she wants to become famous. You deserve to be seen, Emily. After season one, the Sue has transformed into this glamorous socialite. She's having these outrageous parties and she's, you know, suddenly wearing these gorgeous gowns and she's this new sort of person. I already told you, it's not the right look for tonight. And besides, yeah, I can't be seen in the same dress twice. Emily is kind of caught in the web of it all. She also isn't sure if Sue's intentions are pure. Sam, I'd like you to meet my sister-in-law, Emily Dickinson. Sam Bowles, the young, ambitious, progressive newspaper editor comes barreling into their lives. You're interesting. I'm interested. Part of her wants to be famous, and another part of her is really scared by it. This is where you will go. I, I, I don't know. I'm really excited for the audience to get to come back home to these characters, but find that home has changed. We get to stretch our wings and expand our world. This season takes you to places that you would never expect. <laughs> Parties, unrequited love, a seance. Ah! It's more sophisticated and it's sexier and it's more mature. It's about self-discovery and growth and fame and the dangers of fame in the 1800s, all through a modern lens. This is it. You ready? Well, I hope so.